up to June Lake to do a little camping at June Lake Campground. June Lake's about five and a half hours northeast of Los Angeles, a little over 300 miles. You're mainly on Route 395 and then for the last few miles you're on Route 158. June Lake is a really small town. It only has about 600 permanent residents and that swells to about 2,500 with tourism at the peak season. June Lake is at an elevation of 7,600 feet. The village there is very small. There's only a couple of restaurants and a general store, but there's one place you definitely gotta go. That's the June Lake Brewing Company, and we'd heard a lot about it, and we heard a lot about the food trucks that are there. They have great micro beers, and they have an Ohana food truck that serves Hawaiian food, and when the Ohana truck is not there, they have a Mexican food truck that has some pretty good food as well. So we definitely made a stop there before we uh, pitched our tent at the campground. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I'm starving. <laughs> Dig in. We are waiting out the rain. This is, has to be the coolest can of beer <laughs> in terms of the graphics I've ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's really malty tasting. But there's June Lake out there. And we're waiting for the rain to stop so we can set up our tent. And if it doesn't stop, then Vicky will have to set up the tent, which that's horrible, but. Two minutes. What are we having tonight, Miss Vicky? It's gonna be some chicken tacos. Green onions. It has olive oil, salt and pepper, and lime and juice. Lime juice. And then it marinates for a few minutes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, and it's got a little bit of jalapeno. Jalapeno. It's not a super thick piece, so I'm going to put about seven minutes on each side. The tortillas are in here, so I'll just warm that up at the very end. It looks good. Smells good too. Mm. Another seven minutes. This is a 
lot of chicken for four tacos. Four here. tacos. So we have four tortillas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Once again, this is Blue Apron. We get no money from them. <laughs> <laughs> they do an amazing job. Yeah, they put it together really well. And everything has a lot of flavor to it. They really put a lot of spice. They give you a lot of spice to use. Piping. They're warm, nice and yeah. warm. Very. I like that brown one right there, that's mine. Huh. Yeah, that's a lot of chicken for... There's a ton of chicken. Big old pieces too, huh? Man, that looks delicious. This is just the sour cream with the lime juice and salt and pepper. Green onions on top. And top it off with cotija cheese. What cheese? Co cotija. Cotija. Co Co cotija. Cotija. Oh, nice, huh? Looks delicious. Crazy good. Cheers. Well, it's 8.30, that's about our camping bedtime, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. you look like you're ready for bed. Big uh, taco meal, a couple of beers, getting everything set up. 8.30, we're ready. <laughs> we're trashed. We're ready to go to bed. <laughs> we'll get up early. Yeah, we'll get up early. We've got a good spot right here. The lake is just over there. It's dark now, I know, but these sites that are closest to the lake are the tent only sites, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So we don't have any RVs right next to us. Um, it's not crazy secluded or anything, but it's good enough. we've seen worse, oh, you know. That but, beach we went to that last time. Yeah. Close to our been pretty quiet. Try to walk around the lake tomorrow. Still not ready for bedtime.
So we're up and at them. It's about six. Some coffee brewing. That's what happens when you go to bed at 8.30. <laughs> See some fish jumping down here. Water is so clear. Snow runoff. Fish are jumping out here. Looks great. Chorizo and eggs for breakfast. I guess our philosophy is there's no reason not to have some good food while camping. <laughs> Doesn't have to be all hot dogs and hamburgers. Or Joe's chubby so soy. It's so soy, good. Soy tree so it's actually really good, you'd be surprised. So so good. Mm, tortillas are just warming over there. That's a Trader Joe's fresh squeezed juice. That's so good. Very nice. Gotta cut the out. Just pop a little off. 
little cut in there. Those are huge. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Delicious. Right? I've just got a fish. Is it a hawk or eagle? Uh, I don't know. If it's an eagle, it's a small eagle. Oh. <laughs> that was crazy. I, I was filming over here. You could hear the splash. This is Gull Lake, which is right over by June Lake. Our campsite was on the other end of the lake. Actually straight ahead, all the way across the lake, over there by the marina, that's where our campsite was. So this is the beach side of June Lake. Really still this morning, there's really no wind. I think it got down into the 40s last night. I'm gonna get up around 80 today. The water's really still. Just a few people out fishing. They have kayak rentals and Paddleboard rentals here. You can tell that the lake's at a low point, but the lake's been at a low point for a long time. The same with all the lakes up here in the June Lake area, Mammoth Lake area. People loading up. I got the rental company getting their kayaks and pedal boards ready for the day. Really nice and quiet. Really clear snow runoff water. Quite a bit of beach area across the way. So we're gonna head back home. We have about a five and a half hour drive if we don't hit any major traffic. 
and we've had a good time up here. It's been really nice. Even though it's the middle of summer and everything's pretty busy this summer, kind of post-pandemic, where everybody's getting out and doing a lot of camping. The campground was full, but it still doesn't seem crazy busy up here. The village is really small, so there's only a couple of restaurants and some small motels. And there's not a lot of condominiums up here, so there's really not enough housing really to accommodate a lot of tourists. So even in the middle of summer, it's not bad. And there's only a couple of boats on the lake right now fishing, so I always love these lake, uh, these small little lakes up in the mountains. But it's a beautiful day. We're gonna head back, get back to all the traffic and all the people. But just take it all in. It's always nice to be up in the mountains. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and help me grow the channel and like this video. And take care, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.